Welcome to an MTD technical corner. Now today we're going to be discussing the difficulties of kind of deep hole making on, on different kinds of machine tools. Um, but first of all, I mean, look at this crazy drill in front of us. Are we talking about this today, Gareth? No, no, we'll talk about our newest drill, the TA Pro, a deep hole drilling. Okay, and what actually constitutes a deep hole? Let's start with the basics. Yeah, so deep hole we class as eight times D or deeper. Right, okay, so eight times D, and that's rather different to someone who's going to be used to kind of doing a 12 mil hole or an M6 hole or something kind of more standard that doesn't need as much uh, consideration. Yeah. So when we come to deep hole drilling, coolant pressure is a factor as long as coolant flow. Small diameter drills require higher pressure, less flow rate. Larger diameter drills, you need more flow rate, less pressure. The larger the chip flutes, you're making a lot of chips faster because of the diameter. You need a lot of flow to push those through the flutes, out of the hole. Small diameter, less cross-section for the chip Evacuation, that's where you need the high pressure to evacuate the chips out of the hole. Thank you. And if, if someone's used to kind of more standard operations, kind of more milling and, and kind of small drilling, they won't be maybe even considering coolant evacu uh, chip evacuation. Um, so what are the requirements? What makes it hard to make a deep hole? What would happen if you didn't have the right chip evacuation? If, say, deep hole drilling, minimum 20 bar, I'd say. If you haven't got that kind of coolant pressure, your chips will cut possibly 50% of the hole depth, then you'll see the chips block with flutes, you'll see your load meter on the machine start spiking, you'll hear some crackly noises on the machine, that's going to tell you that drill's struggling to make the hole. And the chips are all packing up inside the flutes. Chips pack in the flutes, chips have got nowhere else to go, that leads to insert failure, insert failure can wipe out the whole drill investment you've got. And so we're talking real catastrophic failure. Catastrophic failure, if you drill a hole and you've come to us for recommended speeds and feeds, and the drill just breaks catastrophically, then there's something deep-seated in your application details that we need to have a look at. So catastrophic failure, start from square one. Yep. Have a look at the machine itself, rigidity, and also coolant pressures, coolant Abs flow rate. So you've mentioned machine rigidity there. Are there different requirements for your machine tool? If, I mean, your machine tool is the start of every operation you need to do. Yeah, TA Pro is aimed at carbide insert usage. So they need a nice rigid machine rigid part. Rigidity comes from CNC machines, whether they be horizontal or vertical. So you can use a vertical machine tool with this kind of deep hole application as well? Yeah, modern machine tools have higher coolant pressure standard, 70 bar. So the 70 bar with straight flutes, you need a high pressure to get the chips out of the and hole. And you're not going to weld any tools up, you're not going to have catastrophic All failure. All being well, you're not going to have catastrophic failure, okay, as long as you've got the coolant pressure there. Brilliant. Let's move on. So you've got your machine tool spindle, then you've got a tool holder and then your drill. So what kind of requirements would, might you need for the tool holder? All the shanks come with a flat. So your standard welding holders can be used. So they're so standard supported by side lock, which stainless, uh, standard side lock, whistle notch, you've got the two degree. So whistle notch versus side lock holders. You need the 90 degree screw, more contact area on the flat. So that's what we recommend for our flange shanks. Okay, brilliant. And if someone's um, listening to this and, and they've got the right machine tool, which 20 bar minimum is, is, is not bad. Most machine tools can handle that. Um, they've got the right tool holders, side locks as standard. Um, once they've started making a few holes, they've got a good secure process. They're not I've got that catastrophic failure. How do they start to optimize um, the process? I mean, do you need to make sure your run out's good? What, what uh, about the tool insert makes it uh, econ an economic operation? Yeah, so if you've got the good chip control at the start of the hole, then that's going to carry on through the, the length of the hole. Poor chip control at the start, you're not going to put down a long length tool without chip control. So once you're in all the packaging for deep hole TA Pro, we've got deep hole guidelines. They start the hole with a pilot hole. The longer the hole, the longer the pilot hole. So eight times D, you'll need one times D pilot hole. 15 times D, you'll need two to three times pilot hole. That starts the whole secure process. You never start the tool outside the part, high RPMs, because that's going to whip as soon as that's going to touch the component. It's almost like a gun drill process. Yeah, so you, the pilot hole guides the tool into the hole, reduces the bell mouthing, send the tool in, slow RPMs or stationary, a millimetre off the end of the hole you've drilled, then you can wind up your RPMs, put your feed rate on, and then you can have a nice secure process. The geometry of TA Pro, the change we've made compared to the original TA 
this is going to give you chip control in I'm going to say all categories of materials. And this has got patent pending on a number of different insert geometries. So this is not a, a type of insert you can actually get from anywhere else. But let's move on to materials now. I mean, if people are doing deep holes in aluminium or free cut and steel, they might say, well, that's kind of easy, but I've got stainless steels, I've got cast irons, more difficult to cut materials. Because the original TI has been in the market since 1995, there's carboid inserts, there's HSS inserts. With the TI Pro, we've made it easier for customers to choose. So we've gone down the ISO, Material specific categories, P for steel, K for cast iron and ductile iron, N for non-ferrous, M for stainless steel and heat resistant alloys, and we've got a X geometry, which is a HSS based insert for to offer customers a more secure process of drilling. So we've made it easy for the customers to choose. They've got stainless steel, they choose the M class geometry. And touching on the M class geometry, it's the first time they're going to see some serrations on the outside of the insert. Those serrations allow coolant around the diameter. Coolant around the diameter helps heat dispersion. All good for good chip evacuation. Too much heat in the drilling, your chip's not going to break, it's going to be malleable, so it's going to stay uh, heated, and that's where your poor chip comes, comes from. So having the serrations around the outside, leads to a better chip control in that material group. Okay, brilliant. So, so the, the patented uh, chip, chip, uh, special chip geometry or insert geometry helps with that cut. But once people are making those cuts every day, they want to start thinking about costing the process that they're running. If they've got 100 parts, 200 parts, you want to start finding out how much it costs to make that mm. hole. Now, how does, uh, do you do some kind of a regrind service? Or how do people make sure they get the best out of each insert? Many, many years ago, we offered a regrind service. With improvements in the geometry, improvements of manufacturing methods for the insert, really want the customer to be able to use the insert up to its life. Once it's reached its life, then we say, just replace the insert. Telltale signs that the insert's gone to its life. You'll see a nice silver edge, and the corner clip, rather than being an angle, it'll start to be round. That's a sign that the insert's done its life. It's time to change the insert over. Because it's in two screws, take two screws out, put, put, take the insert out, put in new insert back in, put the two screws in, don't have to reset the tool, and just carry on with the whole production. That's what I was going to ask you, you, you you've jumped the gun there, but I was going to ask you about operator efficiency and operator ease of use. I mean, is that why this, this uh, drill is, is in this kind of spade drill construction rather than kind of a solid HSS or a U-drill? Yeah, one of the, the main USB of our TI system is you don't have to reset the tool length. Once an insert's worn, it can be just took out in, in machine situ. Take the insert out, put a new insert in. The length is going to be the same. You can press the button and continue drilling. Reduces the customer's downtime for the machine. Downtime for the machine costs money. So by, the, by having that tool in the machine for as long as possible working, it gives the customer better, better performance. Brilliant. So if someone's listening to this and they're thinking, um, I'm used to kind of more standard operations, but deep hole making is something I'm, I'm, I'd like to move into, but I don't quite know much about. Um, can they uh, try out this kind of process without having too much, taking on too much risk? Yes, I'm on our website, alloymachine.com. We have a guaranteed application process. Uh, specific to your application, so you put your material in there, down to a length, put the detail in the machine, importantly, kilowatt power, coolant pressures. If you're using competitor product and you want us to beat either penetration rate or you want longer tool life, put some values down there. Sell it into our technical team. We'll have a look at it. If we agree to the test objective, we'll send you the tooling. So now the tool's on a GA basis. The customer applies the tooling. They get a report form with cutting data. So they apply our cutting data we've given them. Everything works well. Everyone's happy. If it doesn't work well and we can't make that tool really work for the customer, they don't have to pay for the tools. So really we put our money where our mouth is and you're gonna get good results off TA Pro. That sounds like a great guarantee. If, you, if it doesn't do what you're expecting, you don't have to pay for it, which is, I guess, something we, we've got to say today. Um, guaranteed application, check it out. If you're interested in deep hole making, um, get in touch with Allied Machine. What's the website? Alloydmachine.com. Brilliant, and you'll see that coming up on the screen now.